Today was a day that many Bills fans were waiting for, a deal for a brand new stadium in Orchard Park. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. The agreement likely means the Bills are here to stay at least for the next few decades. Two on your side has a lot of team coverage for you tonight. Sports Director Adam Benini is live from West Palm Beach at the NFL Owners Meeting where the news broke today. And Dave McKinley is live in the studio with how much this is going to cost Erie County and what that means for your tax bill. And our Ron Plants is at Highmark Stadium tonight with who will now own the land and lease it back to the bills. Let's start with Adam Benini tonight. Big day, Adam. Absolutely, Scott. Mary Alice, historic days in a lot of ways. And, uh, you know, you think back to 2014 when Terry Pagula and Kim Pagula bought this team $1.4 billion as it happened. NFL owners made it perfectly clear that Buffalo needed a stadium solution. So fast forward to today, uh, owners here essentially uh, backed that plan, gave it the green light, and backed it up with some league financing. That's the headline from here in West Palm Beach, the NFL's annual spring meeting at the Breakers Hotel. Owners voting unanimously in favor of an NFL-backed loan for the Pagulas. But beyond that, a public-private partnership for a $1.4 billion open air stadium that includes $850 million in taxpayer funds. 60,000 to 62,000 seats, open air. It, like I said, built for Buffalo. I heard, uh, I heard Coach say today he wants it loud. Yeah. Trust me, it will be loud. Um, it will be intense. It will be intimate. It'll take a lot of the great features of Highmark right now, you know, which is the unbelievable sight lines, bring them over to the new stadium in a modern, really state of the art way. Again, that'll be directly across Abbott Road from the current stadium. It is a 30 year deal that still needs approvals from the state and county legislatures. The goal is to begin play there in 2026. But in terms of breaking ground, uh, Rakuya said that if all goes according to plan, uh, they could really get underway on this thing in spring of next year. So a big step forward today as our coverage continues. Scott Mary Ellis, back to you. All right, Adam, thank you for that from Florida tonight. And to break down the funding, which is huge tonight, the total projected budget for the Bill Stadium is $1.4 billion. $250 million will come from Erie County. $600 million will come from the state of New York. And the rest of the money will come from the NFL and the Buffalo Bills. So we're talking, of course, the Pagula family. So what will that price tag mean for you, the taxpayer? Well, let's bring in two on your side, Dave McKinley, with how local government will pay for all of this. Dave? Hello there, Mary Alice. The county will contribute $250 million, or about 18% of the projected $1.4 billion cost of the stadium. According to County Executive Mark Polenkars, $75 million of that share will come from the county's current surplus, with the remaining $175 million to be borrowed. But he insists that county property taxes will not increase to cover that because of the cost the county will no longer bear at the new place which will not be owned by the county, but instead by an arm of the state government. This would include the $7 million a year the county currently provides in operating assistance, as the capital budget to maintain the new stadium will come from surcharges on tickets, parking, and concessions levied on those attending events. Therefore, it's not coming out of our general operating budget. It's not coming out of future debt service. It will be paid for by the users. It was always one of my key goals is to ensure that Erie County would not have an operating subsidy in, in, in a capital subsidy going forward. In effect, we are getting out of the football business. He also says the team will be picking up the tab for such thing as the Sheriff's Department to secure the new stadium on game days and that the team will be responsible for demolishing the old stadium. He also says even if there are cost overruns and with a project this big and one that's going to take several years to complete, there may well be that under the terms of the deal, the team will be picking up those as well. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Dave. Well, from the state's perspective, there is the bulk of that public funding commitment at $600 million. Yeah, and Channel 2's Ron Plants was following Governor Kathy Hochul's news conference this afternoon, and he joins us live tonight from the stadium. Hello, Ron. 
Hi, Scott and Mary Alice. So again, this would all become state property here at the stadium complex. And as you pointed out, that would be a $600 million investment by the state. Uh, Governor Hochul saying that that will have to be included in her state budget. Now, in essence, they are going to create a new state agency actually called the Erie County Stadium Corporation, a spinoff of Empire State Development to again take over the stadium properties and other Bill's training facilities like AdPro Fieldhouse and the attached administrative offices to sell all this to statewide taxpayers and state lawmakers from downstate and elsewhere who must approve this. The governor, well, she gave a bit of her own sales pitch, mentioning direct tax payments to the state throughout that 30-year lease. In terms of direct revenues to the state of New York, over $19 million, and that number is going to continue increase. That is what we account for from the, uh, the uh, income tax on the players' salaries. Again, that's going to continue going up, as well as the additional money equating up to a total $27 million of direct benefit because of sales tax from hospital beds, from I'm sorry, hotel beds, and uh, and restaurants and extra, uh, extra um, engagement in the community hospitality industry with out-of-town visitors coming from all over. That's $27 million in direct payment to the state we anticipate. And therefore, when you take that in the context of a $600 million state share, our share is paid off after 22 years of a 30-year agreement. Of course, for Orchard Park, there could be some spinoff benefits, perhaps more development around this area. We're going to hear more about that at 6 o'clock from my colleague Rob Hackford. Uh, also, there's been talk about uh, perhaps having the state come in and pay, perhaps in a development, for more of the policing costs that the town of Orchard Park has here. Even though sheriffs have been around the stadium, the town of Orchard Park has to cover around this area, and they estimate that's about $100,000 per season. Also, there's been talk of a community benefits agreement, and perhaps some of that funding would go to Buffalo. That might cushion the blow for those advocates of a downtown stadium that perhaps some of that money would be coming back into the city of Buffalo. So all these things have to be worked out, and all these approvals have to now come from the state of New York with the legislature and the county legislature. We'll see how that all comes together. Reporting live from the current stadium, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News here in Orchard Park. Guys.